Hello guys, today in this tutorial we are going to learn about array reduce method in Angular. So array reduce method is used to calculate the value of an array. So to show the array reduce method, first of all here we have to create an array because it calculates the value of an array. So I will create an array. So first of all I will take a variable that's called arrays. And now I will say the type is any equals to and now array. And here I will add some value. So 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So guys, suppose I want to add these values. So for that here we can use array reduce method. So to use array reduce method here I will create a method count. And inside this count method I will like, uh, use array reduce. So first of all here I will write these dot arrays. Arrays means that dot reduce and parenthesis and this reduce method take two parameter so parenthesis again and the parameter first parameter is accumulator so acc it denotes the accumulator and the second parameter it takes value so i will write val, val denotes the value so now arrow feed arrow function and curly braces so accumulator you can write any name of this parameter like here you can write x and instead of l you can write y so x now denotes accumulator and now y it denotes value so you can write any name of this parameter but here i will write acc and value vl val is for value so here you can write any any name of this parameter so guys First of all, accumulator denotes our i. i means guys, here I will show when we write for loop. So like here we write this way. So for parenthesis and we write let i equals to 0 and i less than equals to this arrays dot length and i plus plus so when we use a for loop then we write this way for let i equals to 0 and i less than equals to arrays dot length because i will count up to this arrays dot length length means up to 2 to 6 and i plus plus that means i will be increased 1 by 1 so first of all 2 second 3 4 5 6 this way so but in the reduce method we don't need to use follow here just accumulator is like a i so first of all we set i equals to 0 in the same way accumulator first of all is the 0 so here we define its 0 first of all and now accumulator increase 1 by 1 automatically we don't need to write a follow and value value denotes that that means 2 3 4 5 6 it denotes our value parameter so now here I will write accumulator plus and value. So that means guys here I will show you what is going on here. So first of all accumulator is 0. So that means ACC is 0 and our value 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 is first of all 2 so accumulator is 0 and value is 2 so 0 plus 2 because here I have written accumulator plus value that means accumulator 0 value is 2 so that, mean, that means it's a 0 plus 2 so here 0 plus 2 equals to 2 so that and now the accumulator value is 2 so again acc equals to 2 because 0 plus 2 is a 2 and now our value is 3 so value equals to 3 so again accumulator plus value so 
so accumulator is 2 and value is 3 so 2 plus 3 equals to 5 so again in the same way accumulator is 5 now so 5 and our value is 4 so 4 so now 5 plus 4 5 plus 4 equals to 9 and in the same way ACC is a 9 and value is 5 so 9 plus 5 9 plus 5 equals to 14 so again accumulator is a 14 and our value is now 6 so it's a 6 so 14 plus 6 14 plus 6 is a 20 so now the at least accumulator is a 20 so at least at the result accumulator is a 20 and because accumulator increase one by one because I, I had shown it's the same like I when we use follow in the follow you can write anything as a J but mostly we write I so here accumulator is same like I so I equals to 0 and I equals to arrays dot length and I plus plus so I looped up to arrays dot length that means 2 3 4 5 6 up to 6 and it increase one by one so in the same way array z accumulator is a zero and two so it's a going up to array dot length so two three four five six so two three four five six it's going up to six so it should be written 20 so just here i have to write return keyword and now I want to show this sum of an array inside a variable so sum is the variable and now here I will write sum equals to so here I have to write this dot sum and I will call this method on load so copy and in the constructor or in the onion you can write this so this dot count and now I want to show this sum variable because I assign this reduce method inside a sum variable. So just I will copy this sum variable and in the HTML file, just here I will write a h2 tag and tag interpolation I will use and sum. So let's check. So it should be written 20 because it's add its count uh, plus addition 2 plus 3 5 5 plus 4 9 9 plus 5 14 and 6 4 is a 20 so let's check so you can see it's showing the value of 20 so now I show the count of an array so in the same way you can count of an array object so let's see guys how we can count the array object property so here I have to create an object so guys first of all here just I will remove that and instead of this here just I will create an object so here first I will write an id id is the one and now here I will write the product name product here I will write Samsung and now quantity and quantity is 1 and now price price is, is a, uh, something uh, 100 
so in the same way I will copy this object here and ID is to here I will write product name is Nokia and quantity 4 and price is 400 in the same way I will copy this again and here I will write uh, another product name is a pill and quantity 2 price is 500 so now if I want to check how many quantity I have inside this array so in the same way we can write a uh, uh, reduce method like here sum variable and inside the sum variable array dot reduce and now accumulator plus I want to count the quantity of an array so just in here value because value denotes our value now here is the object so it denotes the value one quantity price so I want to quantity so value dot quantity so I will copy that so let's check so you can see it's 7 so because guys here we can see first of all 1 and 4 5 and 2 is the 7 and now if I want to show the total price that means one quantity and price is 100 so 1 into 100 is 100 4 and price is 400 that means 4 into 400 is a 1600 so here is the 100 and 1600 is like 1700 so in the same way if we want to show the price so here we can write value dot quantity into value dot price so you can see here we are getting the total price so this is the benefit of our reduced function so here we don't need to write for loop and we can get the count of is uh, easily to you uh, of an array to use reduce method so hope guys this video is helpful to you and if you want to get more videos in angular so please subscribe and press the notification bell icon